Find the oil barrels, please, between the barriers and the barrels. Between the barriers and the barrels, please. Thank you. Between the rails and the barrels. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We've been hearing a lot recently about how the government's really supportive of electric vehicles, which is great, right? But we've actually already got electric vehicles in New Zealand. We've got these electric trains, and they're a real national asset. They allow us to move freight around with very little carbon pollution contributing to climate. Today. We've got Gareth Hughes and Jan Logie from the Green Party. We've got Dennis O'Rourke from New Zealand First, who's also been a big advocate of investment in rail here in New Zealand. Uh, we have former MP and current regional councillor Sue Kedgley here, and another regional councillor here in Greater Wellington, Paul Bruce, who've also been champions for sustainable transport for a very, very long time. There's quite a lot of consensus about this issue. We had uh, messages of support from the Māori Party funding. Virtually none of that $10.5 billion is going towards new rail infrastructure. Why is that? They say that we don't have enough money to keep our electric trains or to extend electrification of the North Island. But Kiwi Rail engineers have told me we can extend electrification over the entire North Island and buy 60 new electri electric locomotives for less than the cost of one motorway. The Green Party wants to prioritize. marching backwards um, to show our support for moving forwards. And we know it's not entirely Kiwi Rail's fault. It's really the national government that's taking us backwards. And that's why we're presenting you with this gift tag and these oil barrels. Mm -hmm. 